Every month, we will get the latest update of existing bus services to be amended or withdrawn. And that may include the launch of the new bus services as well. Not just about bus services, but the update of bus interchanges to serve your daily commute. Read the poster, but need a visual version of the info? What are we expecting about the event that is going to happen? Well, you have come to the right place. Welcome to What to Expect. In this month's episode of What to Expect, we will talk about the night bus services. To some say, all greatness will end, and so does the content of TIB 1 to 340. A quick announcement, you will experience a lack of content by the admin's YouTube posting for 12th July this year due to enlistment. Due to time management, the admin had already prepared new content, but a little lack of it will occur somewhere from August 2022. Thank you for all your support and the Emmy will try my best to produce more soon. So, let's head on to today's episode. For 30th June 2022, all SMRT buses Night Rider and SBS Transit's Night Hour bus services and also Resorts World Duo services 188 Resort and 960 Resort and SMRT bus service 926 will be withdrawn for good. These bus services have been suspended since 2nd April 2020 and never resumed their bus services today. Our DM shall say, these bus services had already withdrawn immediately. So, what causes the withdrawal that the LTA does not want to tell us? Here's a little debate from the admin, shall we? Not into a hashtag debate, so let's stay to the point. The real reason of these bus services withdrawal is the support of e hailing business, Grab, GoJet, Ride, Ta-da! and other related platforms. So, although the nightlife is back in Singapore, the disappearance of night services will be in Singapore bus industry's history book. Some say one step forward, two steps back. Some notices didn't know that this night bus exists. It was introduced in the early 2000s as a two-way night bus service and operated between 11.30pm and 4am on Friday and Saturday night from the city. Then, Permanent night shift bus captains run night bus services. In 2014, the RTA shortened its operating hours to 2 a.m. Throughout the years, night goers depend on night buses as the cheapest way to get home for Tokyo taxi that has midnight charges. With the business of e heading into this era, the demand of night services has reduced, but only involves standing passengers during Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve. Some wouldn't mind about the withdrawal and are okay with e hailing. That is why the LTA step up to help the e hailing business by withdrawing night services. The MA understand people's point of view that night bus services don't cover certain areas nearby its bus routes. Hence, the long walk from the nearest bus stop to their respective homes is one big problem for night bus services. However, in 2019, on demand public bus for night bus service were a good idea that it serves around the estate of Bertok and Tampines, but a failure in terms of technology and cost to operate. Hence, service Night Rider 7 were the first Night Rider bus service to withdraw way before the pandemic. Some people suggested operating a 24 hours night train service. Here is the problem. Yes, it was in the cities like London and New York, but not in Singapore. The maintenance culture in Singapore is rather strict as the RTA is very serious about it. Operating on a single track is not a good idea as it involves a dead slow speed when people are on track. It wastes more time on both travel duration and technicians on the train. And the moment when you reach MRT station, how are you going home without a free bus? Some places like Bukit Batok, Ishun, Boon Lay, 
and Tampines are far from these MRT stations. If you're saying to take e from these MRT stations, you might as well take e from Kaki. What do you think? Is cancelling night bus services solve the entire problem? Is operating MRT in 24 hour service a good idea despite street maintenance culture? Leave your comment down below. Thank you for watching this month's episode What to Expect. Do subscribe to this channel for more news updates of Singapore Public Buses.